most common tool for being able to find research papers is definitely Google Scholar. Now, Google Scholar is really interesting because it's really just a search engine, right? It's not going to go out and find different research papers for you, but it can be really, really helpful when you were at the very beginning stages of learning a new research field because it gives you the option to filter for reviews, which can allow you to type in really relevant search terms to your specific research field and then filter to find a good review to help you to learn that field. And once you find that review, you're going to want to use it in the second tool I'm going to talk about today. But the other thing Google Scholar can really help you do is to be able to answer very specific questions in your field. So, for example, if you are wondering what type of methods are used to determine estrogen concentrations or whatever you're trying to study, or if you're just trying to get background information and you want to know is one thing correlated to another thing, you can use Google Scholar to really easily figure out if there's research papers that have studied that. I will leave a video in the description below that walks you through how to use Google Scholar's advanced search to specifically nail down and find the papers that you are specifically looking for. The other two tools that I'm going to talk about is more about how to find other papers through their connections to the papers that you're interested in instead of looking just based off search terms. Because if you don't search the exact right term, so for example, in my field, if I search liquid chromatography instead of LC, it might be difficult to find those same types of papers. And if you don't know me, I am Dr. Lana Reister. I have my PhD in chemistry. And on these channels, I make videos to help you become a more efficient researcher. So that is what we are mainly talking about in tool number two today which is Connected Papers. Connected Papers is a site that allows you to look for connections from a single paper. So let's say you found that review on Google Scholar that was really, really helpful, and now you want to know, what should I start looking for next? And if you want a full strategy about how to look for different papers to be able to learn your field and develop new research ideas, download my 30-day research jumpstart guide it's completely free in the link and in the description below. But in Connected Papers, you can add in that one review, and it's actually going to start mapping out to all the other relevant papers, whether they're research papers or other review, to that paper. If you have a really research-specific review, then you can actually start finding what are the research papers that came later from that, what are maybe some of the previous papers that led into that or should have been talked about in that, and that can help you to really start develop, okay, what's really happening within this field without having to know the keywords specific to it. Connected papers can also link back into Google Scholar as well so that these can all start working together. Now, if you want connected papers on steroids, there's actually a tool called Research Rabbit. And Research Rabbit will allow you to actually add in multiple papers and start building out a network analysis of those papers to find a lot of different knowledge that's within your research area. In addition, you can actually set up alerts on Research Rabbit so you're getting updated about new papers in your field. And I really suggest using Research Rabbit to stay up to date on your field and be able to quickly be able to look at titles that are relevant to your field and understand where it's going. You can even use the timeline view to map out when different research was going on in your field once you've built out your Research Rabbit collection. If you want to know more about how to get started in Research Rabbit and how to use it, click or tap this video that teaches you a deep dive into how to use Research Rabbit. If you got value out of this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to this channel if you want more help in becoming a more efficient researcher. I hope to see you in my next video.